Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a Q&A on my mommy makeover. This morning I posted a questionnaire on my Instagram stories and I put next YouTube video will be about my mommy makeover. So these are some questions that you guys asked. Before I even go into the questions, I got my mommy makeover last September. It was something that I've always wanted to do. Ever since I had Iramcito, my baby, which is now two, I felt very insecure, very like, like I would cry a lot. I, I couldn't fit into my old clothes. I was so tiny. And then I went from being 150 to 207. So obviously that was, that was something that I wasn't used to. So I just decided I wanted to do the mommy makeover. All right, so that was a little bit of the background for my mommy makeover. I'm gonna go straight into the questions. So the very first question that I got here was, what do you recommend to do after surgery for faster healing and amazing results? Honestly, um, for faster healing, obviously the doctor's always gonna recommend the massages. Um, I want to say I got about 30 massages, like literally off the bat. And then after that, I was kind of doing like twice a week. Right now I get them once a week. All right, next question. So this was actually one of the most asked questions. Who's my surgeon? Uh, my surgeon's name is Dr. Horacio Ruiz. He's in Tijuana. He's honestly one of the best doctors ever, you guys. Um, I highly, highly recommend him. He takes care of you, he checks up on you. He has a recovery home in his hospital. My husband was able to stay with me. We were there for like a week and a half and they give you breakfast, lunch, dinner. They wash your faja twice a day, like they shower you. Honestly, like 10, 10 recommended. Let's see, next question. Was recovery painful AF? Yes, it was painful, but it was worth it. Honestly, I would do it again. I would do the surgery again. So we have the next question here. Tell us your tips and what to buy and what not to buy. Please let us know how you slept and just tricks. Um, so honestly, I just took fajas, I took diapers, I took the foams that they recommend. Even though that the doctors normally, they give you a faja there, especially if you're doing a mommy makeover, they have to give you a faja or sell it to you, but regardless, you can get it there. Oh yeah, like I took, I took sprays. Um, I took wipes because sometimes they tell you that you can't shower for so long, so you kind of have to take wipes and clean yourself. But with my doctor, that wasn't the case. Um, I actually showered the very next day. Any sleeping tricks? I didn't really struggle sleeping. I think it was more with the drains. The drains was very hard to kind of like, I felt like I was gonna pull them out. I was just super paranoid, but now that I think of it, the drain is super long. Like there's no way that you're gonna like, even con un jalón, no se te va a salir el drain. So I think if I were to do it again, I'd be less paranoid because that drain is like huge. I'll sleep better on the next surgery for sure. Next question. Warriors or Boston? <laughs> Off topic for sure, but I definitely have to go with Boston because my little brother is a Warriors fan and I always go against him. So let's go Celtics. Next question. So what are some good doctors? I can recommend you guys a few doctors. I've only gone to two. I am not even gonna bring up my first doctor because I had a horrible experience. Again, I can go ahead and talk about those experiences in other videos but I had a horrible experience with my first doctor, like literally I almost died. So I can talk about that in another video. Um, my second doctor, which is the same doctor that has done all of my surgeries, um, his name is Do Dr. Horacio Ruiz. I highly, highly recommend him. Another one is um, Dr. Pulici. And then I've heard of like, well, it's cause I do body sculpting. So a lot of my girls come from Bella Bodies. So those are a few that I know, but that I recommend, honestly, my doctor. Next question. So pricing. Pricing is another question that I get asked a lot. Honestly, babe, it just, this one's also from Jackie. This is a question that I can't, I mean, I'll answer like what I paid, but everybody's different. I feel like I needed a lot of work done. So that's why it was that price. Um, I literally got my boobs done. Um, I got a lift and I got implants and then um, I also got my tummy tuck. I got my BBL, like I got a BBL reduction and my hips reduction, like smaller. Um, like my pricing for my mommy makeover 
with everything like the recovery home included the food um the los viajes que hice um la gasolina todo todo i want to say it was like close to 12,000 uh, which it is not bad um i again i do this for a living i do body sculpting i do post-op massages I've had girls who have paid like 30,000. It just depends honestly what you're gonna get done. But um, very worth it. So another question was, it's kind of similar to the other one. How was your recovery process? Honestly, I feel like my BBL hurt more than my mommy makeover. I don't know why, but I just feel like with the BBL, with like the lipo, um, it's la es como una sensación de ardor like it burns a lot and it's like even like a touch like when you got your massages done with your with the bbl like even a touch was just burning i feel that with the mommy makeover it's not like that because i got muscle repairment so it's basically dead like you don't feel anything so even the massages were like oh, it was whatever i did have a really really rough time with my first massage but obviously it was the first one after that they felt so bomb let's see so the recovery for me wasn't that bad um actually they told me i couldn't go to work i want to say three weeks i went to work or a month they told me to take a month off i went to work in three weeks i had i had a training so i had to go back to work and i did it fine i was fine so would you do it again? Yes, I would do it again. So I think I kind of should wait because I've had a lot of surgery. So I think they say that you can only get up to seven and I'm kind of reaching my, my, you know, my limits. So I need to chill a little bit. <laughs> I want to get my butt reduction again because I feel like my butt's too big and it doesn't really go with my legs. So uh, that's that's something that I've always wanted to do. Back then I wanted to have a huge butt. Right now I don't really want it. So that's something that I do plan on doing. All right, so next question. What was the experience like when you first got there and how do they prep you? So that's a really, really good question. Um, my experience honestly was amazing um, from the day I got there, from the day I So they do blood work just to make sure that you are a candidate for, you know, the mommy makeover. Um, so they do un cardiograma just to make sure that, you know, you're eligible for the mommy makeover. My doctor, that's why I highly recommend, recommend him, you guys, because si tienes alguna enfermedad o si tienes, like if you, your BMI doesn't meet or honestly any little thing that he thinks it's gonna put your life at risk he won't do it like that's it he's just not going to put your life at risk the whole experience was very pleasant um when they take care of you oh my gosh i can't even like i have no complaints like they literally and i'm not even kidding like they they wash your faja they clean you they shower like everything they shower you they get in there like at five six in the morning they bañan they take you to your massage um, they bring you breakfast, lunch, they bring you dinner, um, and they bring you, they let you, somebody stay with you. So for me, my husband took care of me in there and he stayed with me like throughout the whole process. And they gave him his own bed. They put a big flat screen, well, they have a big flat screen in there. And we were just watching Netflix the whole time. All right, so next question, what other surgeries do you have? Oh my goodness, I have a lot. So I have my nose, I have my chin, my double chin, I have my cheeks, I have my whole body done, my boobs, my butt. Um, well, my butt, I don't, I mean, it's done, but it's not done, if that makes sense. Remember, I got a butt reduction. Are veneers considered a surgery? Not really, huh? No, but I got that done too. Gotten a lot done, and I plan on getting more, so we'll see. Uh, next question, are you happy with your results? Yes, I am very happy. The only thing I can say that I'm not very happy about is probably my belly button. <laughs> but that's my fault. It's not the doctor's fault. Um, he told me que me lo cuidara, que me pusiera como un botoncito. But it's like a, yeah, like it's like a plug, like a belly button plug. And you just put it there. Y yo me confié bien tontona. Like, 
I just freaking didn't put it in. And now my belly button is literally like, grab a lead pencil and that's how small it is. But I like my results. I feel like I look good. Um, I'm trying to diet right now, um, but my diet starts Monday again because I've been kind of like messing up because we went to Disneyland, so. It starts every Monday. So it starts Monday, <laughs> Monday for sure. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing a health journey. So if you guys think I should, you guys comment down below and let me know. But anyways, the next question. Um, are the massages you do needed for post-op? Yes, they are very, very important. Um, if you go on my business page, you'll see like the before and afters. They're amazing. Like you'll, you'll get amazing results. I honestly don't think my body would be the way it is right now if it wasn't because of my massages. And I actually can give you guys like, I'm like the perfect example. So on my first surgery, I got um, lipo. I got lipo 360, right? And se me hizo bien fácil, dije no pues whatever. Like I'm not gonna get my massages. I look bomb, I don't need them. I'm not gonna go pay like this much money for stupid massages. Well, I did. I, I, got, I ended up with fibrosis, a lot of it, a lot of fibrosis, and it was kind of like building up all right here. And se miraba bien feo, so like when I was wearing bathing suits, it was horrible, I hated it. I ended up getting another surgery. Love that surgery, me encantó, because I wanted to be super like caderona, like I wanted to look buchona back then, like buchona vibes, diría la Jenny69. But um, I didn't like it. I, I, don't, I liked it back then, but now I didn't because I got pregnant a year later. And I just like, todo se me esparramó. Like, I got big butt. Like, it was just horrible. I hated it. So I ended up getting a reduction. But yes, you do need your massages. Super important. And it's not just because I do them, but because if... I always like to say, your massages are as important as the surgery. So if you don't have... If you're not gonna get your massages, you might as well not even get the surgery because you're gonna bounce right back to how you were. So I think they are important. And that's honestly it for the messages because a lot of my messages were repeated, like how, what was the cost? Um, who's your doctor? Who did you go with? I actually had a lot of questions asking about my veneers, but I didn't record that, you guys. I didn't record like the process. Um, but if you guys want me to talk about it and like my experience, I'm more than happy to. So just let me know in the comments. Another question that I've actually gotten asked is like my size. I've gotten like two girls ask me like the size boobs that I got. Again, that's something that you have to consult with your doctor because for example, me, I got 280 cc's on my boobs. And when people look at me, they're like, wait, 280 cc's, that's small, but my boobs look huge. How is that possible? The reason that happens is because I already like, I breastfed. So my boobs were kind of big already. Back then I was like boobless, like flat like no joke but when i started breastfeeding um se me hicieron bien grandes las chichis so obviamente like they stayed like that y cuando me pusieron el silicone nomás it kind of just gives you a lift that's what the silicone does so that's why the 280 cc's were recommended for me because i went in wanting like freaking 500 or 300 or i don't even remember but um se me hubieran visto así so that's why he recommended this what else? Oh yeah, they've asked me if I have silicone in mis pompis. No, I have no, no, no silicone on my butt. It's all fat, it's all um, fat transfer. Now I'm trying to get rid of it, so hopefully we can get there. And if I do, I will do a YouTube on it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know, I feel like if I missed anything, feel free to message me or reach out to me and I'm more than happy to you know, answer any questions regarding my surgery. I'm super open about surgeries. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. I do want to thank you guys for the support on the first video and for watching this one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.